Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we covered our house, we covered our car. Now we're gonna cover the hideout. This is my secret place. Well, technically it's not, because if I tell you a secret, I need to kill you. But still, we're gonna go into the fundamentals of the hideout. Before we go into the exact equipment that we have stashed in our hideout, let's talk about the principles, the fundamentals of a hideout. We don't put all our eggs in one basket, because if we have everything stockpiled just on one location, if that gets raided or destroyed by a natural event, well, we're shit out of luck. So have multiple different hideouts strategically placed around the area that you live, that you, your family or your friends can occupy. Surviving on your own is one thing, but to increase your chances of survival is building up a community. To make strong bonds with your neighbor, other people in your community, to make a plan what to do if disaster hits. Because a hideout is only a resupply point to get from the car back to your community, or if your community is being overrun, so you have a fallback position to get a resupply and then think, what am I going to do next? Anyone who's watched Star Wars can tell you high ground is better because it's easier to defend, less chances of flooding, and also less chances of falling into lava on an alien planet. I recommend having your hideout positioned next to a water source that you know that it's potable. If you don't know if it's potable or not, have a filtration device at the ready. Also, all around you should be thick vegetation so it's easier for you to camouflage. Don't stick out like a liberal at a gun rally. Have multiple avenues of approach that you can defend or escape. You don't want to have only one way in or out because that makes it basically your last stand. Now on the actual stuff that we have in our hideout, it's pretty basic. I have a sleeping bag, a bunch of MREs, and some water. That's all there is to it. You don't want to have a lot of expensive stuff inside because it might get stolen or destroyed. I'm not gonna prep a gun and ammo here because obvious reasons that I told before. Now we can grab some chow, get some water, rest, reorganize and consolidate. What are we going to do next? Are we gonna stay here? Are we gonna move back to the car, back to our community? A plan. Knowledge is power in these scenarios. Know what's in the vicinity of your hideout. Know the schools, ammo store, veterinarian clinics, hospitals, anything that could benefit you when the shit hits the fan. Okay, let's recap. Why do we need a hideout? First is to resupply. Second, it's for a strategic staging point. Third, <laughs> to survive. But the most important thing is knowing when to go there and being able to go there. Okay guys, thanks for watching our prepper survival segment of this series. Stay tuned for our next part, which is combat medicine. We're gonna show you what to carry on yourself, what to carry for a direct action, 24 hour hit, prolonged field care scenario, and mask health. Take care.